IRA, IRA. What is that? Is it Irish retirement account? Indian retirement account? Independent retirement account. Okay guys, something as important as retirement, we need to make a video about this. Specifically, Bitcoin, crypto, and retirement. So let's get into it. Guys, as times change, so should our investments. Something as important as retirement, we have to take very seriously. And crypto and Bitcoin, they're pretty volatile. This stuff isn't sexy to talk about. I know we all wanna talk about what's gonna make us rich one day and get us the nice sports car and house, but in reality, we need to focus on our independent retirement account. And here's one of the options I looked into. It's called Bitcoin IRA. I was gonna do all the different Bitcoin crypto IRA side by side, but honestly, like this deserves its own video. Each of them do. And I'm gonna make sure I do the remaining videos over the next six months. Guys, especially for this video, do your own research, vet it yourself, make sure the options are right for you. You know, something as important as retirement needs to be looked at very carefully. Furthermore, if you guys like this content, please be sure to subscribe. It would really mean a lot to me. All right, guys, I'm gonna talk about Bitcoin IRA, and this is something you guys should be so excited about. So they've been established over half a decade ago, and this strong track record is very important, especially if you wanna be investing your life earnings into a certain product. They have a strong relationship with BitGo. And this is the Galaxy Digital owned company. They have a three keyed cold storage approach with Digital Trust Company and they use multi encryption. So this is very safe. They're not screwing around with their security here. From my experience, they have the best app UI out of every single other provider. It's actually really cool. I would look it up for yourself. I'm gonna put some screenshots right here. I get some Coinbase vibes from it. So the other night I was like, I'm gonna do some deep research into this. And I scheduled an appointment with one of the guys First thing in the morning, they called me and they answered all of my questions. They were so thorough and knowledgeable and having that white glove approach really makes me feel great and secure investing my life earnings into a company and using their products. Guys, there are many coins if you drink out of this cup, actually 53 in total. Now, I see this personally as a disadvantage. I'll get into that later in the video. The custody is excellent. I mean, they also have reinsurance on the product. So they have Lloyd's of London insurance, $700 million per server and different coins use different servers. So that's a pretty good amount of coverage with an established reinsurance company such as Lloyd's of London. They are FinCEN registered and they have a super strong team. I mean, it looks like these guys really know what they're doing and I love honestly the fact that they have a strong track record, strong team and they're very knowledgeable in the area. Do you guys like trading all the time? Because I love trading 24 seven and you can do that with this IRA. There's no limit on trades. You do have to pay fees on trades, but the thing is it's not real time settlement. Settlement takes two days. You still lock in that price you initially see though. You're assigned a dedicated rep also and an associate. And this is so cool. It comes at a cost though. And I'm gonna discuss that in the cons. And the cool thing is you can opt out of the non-qualified account so you could just take advantage of the brokerage system or the earn program if you wanted to. All right, guys, now I'm gonna talk about the cons. So first, I don't think it should be called the Bitcoin IRA, it should be called the crypto IRA because it really is mainly cryptos. I mean, yes, you could buy Bitcoin, but it just seems like heavily focused on altcoins. So I just wanted to highlight that. My inner maximalist, I know it's coming out, guys. Guys, take it for what it's worth, but the earn program, it is pretty cool, but it has some downsides. So you're, you're taking your money, your Bitcoin or your cash or your Ethereum, and you're lending it out essentially to institutional borrowers. Now, the thing with that is there's default risk associated with it. Um, you know, there's counterparty risk. And also, you know, it's not actually your Bitcoin. So in my opinion, if you have it in your retirement account, don't lend it out with the EARN program. I get it. It's safe. They showed that they've never had a default, but with something as important as your retirement, I would avoid this program, even though it is good for those who do want extra yield and who are managing it correctly, you can look into this program if you wanted to. They have great features, but they come at a cost. This white glove approach, this tailored experience, this turnkey experience, it comes at this cost and the fees are high. So if you go on the website, you can't see what the fees are. So I actually gave them a call and I asked them what my fees would be. They have great features and the Bitcoin crypto space, it's very volatile. We see huge swings on the upside. So I'm more willing to bear fees. Recently, they went through a new fee structure update. The thing is this, the minimum amount you can use to start an account with Bitcoin IRA is $30,000. So this may detract some people like, I just wanna put in 10K or 15K. You can't do that with the Bitcoin IRA. $30,000 minimum deposit. 
Next, there's an upfront fee of 6%. So that's a sizable amount of money if you're putting in 30K. If you're putting in 100K or a million, that's a lot of money. Next, there's a recurring cost to the trust and the wallet provider, and this is 0.08%. Furthermore, there's 2% buy fees um, for every buy you make. So keep that in mind, there are a bit of fees. Now, it's much better than it was before. Furthermore, you can't borrow against your IRA. And I know many people that do like borrowing against their IRA if they wanna buy a home or, or take on a kitchen project or something like that. But the thing is this, that's not offered at this time. I'm against it personally, but I know a lot of people do like that option with their IRAs. Here's my takeaway. I think everyone should have Bitcoin or crypto in their IRA if they are a long-term believer of it. Should they go 100% in? No. Should they go 75% in? I don't think so. Personally, I think anywhere between a 1% and 10% allocation would be fine. And this is personally what I'm going to be doing. It's up to you, your financial situation, your financial advisor, and your time horizon. The IRA is an excellent retirement vehicle that has tax deferred growth. It's like a tax shelter. And I like that sheltered growth that you get with an IRA. The product looks great from the security, the white glove service, and furthermore, the user experience standpoint, the UI, the app, the website, everything looks great. I get it. Crypto is an emerging industry. It has huge swings, 20, 30, 40%. But the thing is this, I think, in the long run, it's gonna to start to stabilize. Bitcoin, when it gets up to a million or two million a token, we're not gonna see these 20% swings as much as we see now. Just as we've had bonds forever and we've had you know, value stocks, I think now this should be something we consider having in our portfolio. Just as like many people in the past liked having physical gold or physical silver in their IRA. It's 2022 guys and <laughs> times are changing. Make sure to contact your financial advisor and look and see if this solution is right for you. All right, person to person, guys. I just had a hard time making this video because this is not an easy subject to talk about. People like talking about the fast, the sexy, the glitzy things. IRAs are not exciting, but they should be. And I encourage all of you guys to look at it and see how can I make investing in IRAs exciting? And I think that this will spice it up a bit. Anyways, guys, I hope you all enjoyed this video. Please be sure to subscribe, comment, rate. It's been, it's been a fun journey so far. And again, as I mentioned, a lot more coming your way. Have a good one.